It takes a very interesting type of person to volunteer to go to the, the bottom of the ocean for a placement of minimum six months. There's, you're trapped, you're trapped. Uh, it's, um, <laughs> from afar, I would say it's a job for people who hate people, but, <laughs> but there's actually something kind of unifying about it. You may go there to escape, but you're surrounded by people and you can't get away from them. We have to help each other, otherwise we won't survive. She's really the one who starts looking into these creatures and trying to understand what they are. We get what we call a clinger and we bring it back into one of the pods and she sort of dissects and tries to figure out what new strain this is developed from. I think the biggest challenge is this, it was, was the suit. Emily's never been in one of the suits. She doesn't know how to operate it. She doesn't know how to turn on the light, turn off the audio, any of that. So she is, she's a, a newborn baby and Smith has to help her in. And it's interesting because when she first puts on the suit, it reminds her of this childhood memory of getting into her sister's snowsuit. And she kind of grasps a hold of that idea to take her forward you're immediately thrown into the mess of people running and there are water pipes blowing out and whole sections of the station are collapsing from the pressure. And it doesn't let up, it goes like that. It goes like that all the way through. It's been a very intense film to make and I think that that will 100% translate onto the screen. I think it's gonna feel really claustrophobic and cloying and uh, there are elements of sensory deprivation to it because sometimes our lights go out and uh, you know sometimes the space is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and we can't see anymore and um, there's a great fear of the unknown what's outside of the pod what's outside of the station the pressure down there combined with the temperature means that only very, very strange things live down there, and uh, most of it's just a wasteland. So I can imagine if my station blew up at the bottom of the ocean and I was in a suit and I had to walk to the other one and I couldn't see it, you can't, you can't see anything. The, that's such a mental challenge as well as a physical challenge to just walk off into the nothingness. Honestly, I'm excited for audiences to see a film set underwater. I am excited to see that because I don't know what it's going to look like. <laughs> what I've seen looks amazing, but I can't wait to see it with the zhuzh of CG to, to really sell it.